All right, this is grade two, module one, lesson three. We're gonna continue reviewing first grade. Uh, but in this lesson, we're gonna be adding and subtracting like units. And what that means is we're gonna add tens to tens and add ones to ones. And similarly, we're going to subtract tens from tens and ones from ones. So let's do some practice and see what that means. So here, this question says 30 plus 6. So I'm going to go down here and say, well, what does 30 mean? Well, 30 means we have three tens. And then it says plus 6. So that's plus 6 ones. And so what's the answer? Well, it's three tens plus 6 ones, which is written like this, 36. So let's practice this. Well, let's, yeah, let's go right here. So 30 plus 60. So what does that mean? Well, that means we have three tens plus six tens, uh, and three tens plus six tens equals nine tens, which is 90. So another way to think of that, I'm going to write it out, 30 plus 60. So our students can think of this as three tens plus six tens, and that equals nine tens, which is equal to 90, all right? So we could practice again. Let's do uh, letter B, uh, scooch over here, uh, right here. So we have 50 minus 30. So we have five tens minus three tens, all right? So five tens minus three tens, and if I want to, I can squeeze that in here. Five tens minus three tens, and that equals two tens. Well, two tens is written like this, 20. And then our last example right here is 51. So what does that mean? That means we have five tens and one, extra one left over. Now, when it says to take away 30, 30, so that means five tens take away three tens gives us two tens plus we have that one one left over one one left over so two tens plus one one is equal to 21 boy that is horrifically messy let's see if I can make that a little bit prettier so let's see 51 minus 30 so 51 can be thought of as 50 and 1. We've got 5 tens take away 3 tens. So that gives us 2 tens. And we have this little 1 left over. So we have 1, 1 left over. 1, 1. Uh, 1, 1s. So 2 tens is 20. 1, 1 is 1. So it's 21. Now, we teachers, we don't expect students to do all this work. We're just walking, uh, walking through our mental steps here. So the idea would be 51 minus 30 is 21, because we've got five tens, take away three tens is two tens, and then the one is left over. This is just uh, opportunity to practice. So let's see, we've got two tens and four ones plus five more ones. So if we were to write that out, it, it might look like this, two tens plus four ones plus five more ones. So that gives us two tens plus nine ones. So that gives us the answer of 29. And the idea of like units is we would not add the two to the nine and get 11 because they're not like units. Two tens and nine ones. These are different units, and that's why we are not able to add the two plus the nine and get 11. So let's practice. Let's do uh, letter B right over here. So let's see. We've got 24. So 24 is two tens and four ones. So we have two tens plus four ones plus we have five tens. So we've got two tens plus five tens. That gives us seven 
tens, plus we have four left over, so our answer is 74. You're starting to see why we're calling this adding like units? Now we're going to practice some subtraction of like units. So here we've got seven tens and eight ones, and then we're going to subtract three. What is that three? Is that three tens? Or is that three ones? Well, that's three ones. So we've got seven tens, and we have eight ones, but we're going to take away three ones. So eight ones take away three ones gives us five ones. So we have seven tens plus five ones, so our answer is 75. Last example here on this page, 78 can be thought of as seven tens and eight ones, and we're going to take away 30, which is three tens. So seven tens take away three tens gives us four tens plus eight ones. So that gives us the answer of 48. This is really just more of the same. I'm not going to do this whole page at all. But we do want students to start to really look at, think about tens and ones. Oh, let's do this first one, for example. So we've got three tens and one ten. That gives us four tens and eight ones, so 48. So 38 plus 10 is 48. Similarly, here, we've got one ten plus we have an eight. And then we're supposed to add three more tens. So one ten plus three more tens gives us four tens. Plus we have eight ones left over, so our answer is 48. And I think that's enough for this page. The idea is uh, parents and teachers, we're not going to be super didactic and super important or uh, picky about how students express their writing right here. We want to, however, listen closely to the students. Are they thinking of 35 as three tens and five ones? Because that's exactly what we want them to be thinking of. And are they thinking of 20 as two tens? So that's the idea of this lesson so far. And the last slide on this video, it says compare 57 minus 2 to 57 minus 20. So how are they different? Well, in both cases, we see the same front number, 57. So in both cases, we have five tens and seven ones. Five tens and seven ones. But what's happening here? This says take away two ones, but this says take away two tens. Uh, so that's the big difference here is example on the left, we're taking away two ones. The example on the right, we're taking away two tens. So our result on our left is 55, and our result on the right is 37. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 3.